Great nations often reflect great character and purpose, but when their morals and values decline and decay, their days and years are numbered. I have this theory that anything that was tolerated in this generation will be embraced by the next. So what was tolerated by our parents, which was promiscuous sex, is now just let's go all the way whenever we want. In the past 50 years, our nation has gone from family-friendly television shows to degrading, dramatic shows that portray reality in a negative light. Even shows from the early 90s had a specific moral embedded within them pertaining to family dynamics, struggles in school, or differences among people in the world. Now, shows have messages about relationships, sex, drugs, money, and illegal use of alcohol. Shows nowadays are described as a parent's worst nightmare, or mind-blowingly inappropriate. We see lawlessness all over. Um, you know, abortion is murder. We approve of murder. We are talking about how millennials are leaving the church in droves. And if you need proof, all you need to do is look online because websites like Reddit, which is a favorite among millennials, has more than two million people subscribed to a page on atheism. But the Christianity page has less than a tenth of that, 67,000. And then there is this survey from 2012. One in four young adults say that they are, quote, unaffiliated with any religion, though many claim a religion when they were younger. In the midst of the worst moral decline in our country's history, God is raising up a generation of youth and young adults who are standing for the God of the Bible. This is co-pastor Isaac Thomas Quick. I would like to invite you to the Promised Land Annual Youth and Young Adult Conference entitled Riot, Righteousness in Our Time. It is designed to encourage and exhort young people everywhere to put God first and keep God first in their everyday lives. This conference will be held Friday through Sunday, September 18th through 20th. We are looking to have a fun, yet serious time as we explore tools that will benefit both young people who desire to be pleasing to the Lord as well as those who have not yet made a decision for Christ. Friday night immediately after service, we will be heading to Roebuck Skating Rink for a night of fun for only $5 per person. Also, the Promised Land Community Development Corporation, courtesy of WSBA's Caring for the Carolinas and Spartanburg County Foundation, will be giving out free school supplies over the course of the conference. If you are a youth or the parent of a youth, you do not want to miss this experience of a lifetime. 